get the language right tonight. Shalom, most high in Christ blessed. My name is Captain Joel. And I'm Officer Jezreel. Today, the topic we're going over is baptism. So, do we water baptize today? Does baptism save you? We're going to show you through the scriptures and the spirit of the most high that there's two different baptisms. John the Baptist baptism and the baptism of Christ. Read the definition of baptism. This is the Zondermen Bible Dictionary. Baptism. The word baptizo in Jewish usage first appears in the Mosaic laws of purification. Mm -hmm. So baptizo, baptism, which comes from the Jewish word baptizo, appears in the Jewish law, in the Mosaic, read. Where it means washing or cleansing. And so it comes from the purification laws. It comes from the purification laws, which means washing or cleansing. That's where John the Baptist got the idea of baptism from. Read on. Jews baptized proselytes. Uh-huh. John's baptism was connected with repentance. So John's baptism, which extends from the Jewish purification laws, was connected with repentance. Read. So that the Jews might be spiritually prepared to recognize and receive the Messiah. Read. And it deferred from the baptism of Jesus. So it deferred. It deferred. It differentiated from the baptism of Jesus. So there was two different types of baptism. Let's get Acts chapter 19, verse 2 now. So to show you, because a lot of people still believe in this amount of time. In a Christian church, you got the Baptist church, where soul doctrine and belief system is based upon water baptism. That water baptism save you. But the scripture says otherwise. Read Acts chapter 19, verse 2. The book of Acts chapter 19, verse 2. He said unto them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? So he said unto them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed in Christ? Read. And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. So they says, hey, we think the Holy Ghost is going to... No, 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 no. This Holy Ghost is talking about the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of understanding, of wisdom being expounded on you once you keep the laws and the faith of Christ. Read on. Verse 3, and he said unto them, until what then were ye baptized? So they said, wait a minute, we have not heard whether it be a Holy Ghost. So they said unto them, then what then were, uh, were you baptized? Read. And they said unto John's baptism. And they said unto John's baptism, which was based upon water baptism. Read. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Saying unto the people. So John verily baptized unto the baptism of repentance unto water, with water. Read. That they should believe on him, which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Was this water baptism? No. Because why? There's a differentiation between John's baptism and Christ's baptism. John's baptism was based upon water. Christ's baptism was based upon keeping the laws and the faith of Christ. Give me Luke chapter 1 verse 6. And they were both righteous before God. Walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. Read. And they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren. And they both were now well stricken in years. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office. While Zacharias executed the priest's office. What priest's office? The Levitical priest's office. Read. Before God in the order of his course. In the order of his course, because they were still sacrificing back then. They were still executing the priest's office. His what was his priest's office? To carry the incense, the censer. Read. According to the custom of the priest's office, mm -hmm. his lot was to burn incense uh -huh. when he went into the temple of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without were praying without at the time of incense. So his job was to burn incense. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We just read. That John the Baptist's father was after the order of the priesthood of Abijah. 
and he follow in his order and burn an incense. So water baptism comes from the purification laws found in the Levitical priesthood. Now let's go to Matthew chapter 3 verse 1. So why, what do you think John got this ministry of water baptism? It is only symbolic to bring Israel into repentance to uh, and to rep pre prepare for Jesus Christ. Matthew 3 verse 1. Right. Book of Matthew chapter 3 verse 1. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea mm -hmm. and saying, Repent ye. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So John the Baptist was preaching repentance in the wilderness. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jump to verse 6 now. Verse 6. And were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. The difference is they were baptized in Jordan. Water baptism in Jordan. Confessing their sins. In the Christian church, ask yourself a question. When you're baptized, are you confessing your sins? No, you're not. Why? Because you say the laws of God are done away with in your churches. So they were being baptized, confessing your sins. Uh, when you're baptized, are you saying, I'm a murderer? Are you saying, I'm a adulterer, a monthly prognosticator? Are you saying, I have hatred, I have envy, I have the spirit of preeminence? Are you confessing your sins when you're being baptized in your church, in your baptism? Now, let's get jump to verse 11 now. Book of Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. I indeed baptize you with water. So John says, I indeed baptize you with water. Read. Unto repentance. Unto repentance. But they were confessing their sins. Unto repentance. Read. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Who is the he? Jesus Christ was the he. Read. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. John says, yo, he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Whose shoes that I am not able to bear. So he cannot bear Christ's shoes. Christ was above him in the spirit of the Lord. Read. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. He says he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. He didn't say water. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Give me what the Holy Ghost says. Get Acts chapter 7 verse 51. Showing the differentiation between John the Baptist, water baptism, and Jesus Christ's baptism. There's two different ones. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 51. Mm -hmm. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Read. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. Because back in the wilderness, our people were always stiff-necked. Back during the time of the disciples, our people were stiff-necked. They refused to listen to the Most High. So say, you stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ear. You always do resist the Holy Ghost. Keep this in mind. They resisted the Holy Ghost. They resisted the Holy Ghost. They denied the Holy Ghost. Read. As your fathers did, so do ye. As your fathers did, so did ye. Read. Verse 53. Read. Who have received the law. They by, received the law. Read. By the disposition of angels. By the giving of the angels. Read. And have not kept it. And have not kept it. What did they resist? The laws of God. What is the Holy Ghost that they resisted? The laws of God. What did they resist? The laws of God. Now go back to Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. Book of Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. I indeed baptize you with the water unto repentance. So John's baptism was based upon water baptism. Read. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Read. Whose, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. Mm -hmm. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. He shall baptize you with the word of God. He shall teach you the laws of God. That's the baptism of Christ. Keeping Christ's love, keeping God's laws. If you love me, keep my commandments. Read. And with fire. And with fire. Because when Christ returns, those of you that are not adherent to Christ, the laws of God, and the faith of Christ, he's going to baptize you with fire. Meaning destruction. Nuclear destruction. Chaos on its earth. Two-thirds of Israel will be purged with fire. That's the baptism of Christ. All you that don't keep God's laws, you will be baptized with thermal nuclear destruction. Boom. All right. Let's get John chapter 4 verse 1 now. Show you that Christ, when John came on the scene, actually, let's jump to verse 15 now. Let's jump to verse 15. Yes, Matthew 3 verse 15. Because some of you will say that, wait a minute. But was it Christ baptized? You're right. Christ was baptized with water baptism. Read verse 15. The book of Matthew chapter 3 verse 15. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer it to be not so. Suffer it to be so now. Read verse 13. Verse 13. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized. So him. Christ came unto John during his water minute, his baptism ministry. And he came unto John to be baptized of him. Read on. But John forbade him. John says, no, 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 no. You're, you're mightier than I. Who am I to you? Read. 
Say it. I have need to be baptized. I thee. need to be baptized of you, Christ. Not me baptizing you, Reed. And comes down to me. You coming to me? A man whose shoes that I cannot fill, Reed. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer it to be so now. John, don't worry about it. Allow this to happen for now. This is only for this time, Reed. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all rights. We have to fulfill prophecy, John. Because what? You prepared a way for me. Now we got to translate ministries. Your ministry now is going to be diminished and my ministry is going to what? Increase. All right. Now let's get John chapter four. Now let's see if Christ in his ministry, if he continue with John's ministry of water baptism. Read John chapter four, verse one. The book of John chapter four, verse one. Mm -hmm. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. So the Pharisees knew. And heard that Jesus baptized more disciples than John the Baptist. Let's see this baptism. It's talking about water baptism. Read. Though Jesus himself baptized not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Though himself, Jesus Christ baptized not. He didn't baptize with water baptism. We just read in the Zonder Compact Bible Dictionary that John the Baptist baptism and Christ's baptism differentiated. As well as Matthew chapter 3 verse 11. John's baptism was based upon water baptism. Christ's baptism was based upon being baptized with the Holy Ghost. Which is the laws. Show you right here. Jay says, read it again for verse 1. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. Let's see if it's water baptism. Read. Though Jesus himself baptized not. Jesus himself didn't baptize with water. Read. But his disciples. But Jesus Christ's disciples, some of them baptized with water baptism. That's why you read in the New Testament, in the book of Acts, you have some of the disciples were still baptized with water. Why were they baptized still? Give me the book of John chapter 1 verse 32. Because you read some of the disciples still water baptizing. But Christ did not water baptize. He did not baptize with water. He baptized with the laws of God. He taught Israel the laws of God. That was his baptism. Read. Book of John, chapter 1, verse 32. Mm -hmm. And John bare record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. Mm -hmm. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water. You see, he that sent me to baptize with water, read. The same said unto me, Upon whom thou, thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is, the, the same is he which baptizes with the Holy Ghost. It says the same is he that baptized with the Holy Ghost. Christ baptized with the Holy Ghost. With the laws. What don't you understand? Read. And, and I saw and bear record. And that this is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Again the next day, after John stood and two of his disciples. After John stood with two of his disciples, read. And looking upon Jesus uh -huh. as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of Behold, God. Behold, the Lamb of God. Read. And the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. And John's two disciples heard John speak, and they followed what? And they followed Jesus. Why do you think Jesus' disciples baptized because they were disciples of John first and foremost. That's why they continue in the book of Acts. Water baptism. Because they still was they still have the tradition of John in their mind. Let's get let's get 1 Corinthians 1 verse 14. Let's see what Paul said. Paul said something heavy. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 14. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 14. Mm -hmm. I thank God that I baptized none of you. Paul says, I thank God that I baptized none of you, read. But Crispus and Caius. I only baptized Crispus and Caius, read. Lest any should say that I have baptized in my own name. Read. And I baptized also the household of Stephanus. So yes, I did baptize the household of Stephanus. Only a few people did this too, read. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other. I don't remember whether I baptized anybody else, read. For Christ sent me not to baptize. Christ did not send me to baptize or water baptism. We don't got time to dip people, thousands and thousands of people with water. Water doesn't clean you. But the laws of God does. Read. But to preach the gospel. The, Christ sent Paul to preach the gospel. Read. Not with wisdom of word. Uh -huh. Lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. Let's get Matthew chapter 28 verse 19. So Christ sent Paul to preach the gospel. To what? What is the gospel? For Israel to keep the laws and the faith of Christ. So Christ didn't send us to water baptized. To dip in water. Matthew 28. The book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. 
Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Who's the all nations? Get Acts chapter 2 verse 5. The book of Acts chapter 2 verse 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Why did he say go ye there and teach all nations? Because Jews were scattered according to the biblical prophecy out of all nations under heaven. Now go back. The book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. Go ye therefore teaching all Jews dwelling in all nations in the name of the Father. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. So it's not talking about the Trinity. No, it's means it's keeping the laws and the faith of Christ. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit and the Bible is all in agreement. Bring Israel into the repentance of this Bible. Read. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Teaching them to observe the commandments in the faith of Christ. To believe on Christ. Read. And lo, I am with you always, mm -hmm. even unto the end of the world. Let's go to Mark 16, verse 15 now. So it's Christ sent the disciples to teach him, teach about him, about the new covenant and agreement and the faith to end, keeping the laws. Read. The book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Uh -huh. He that believeth and is baptized shall and be he saved. He that believeth and is baptized. What is this baptism talking about? Christ's baptism. He that believeth on who? He that believeth on me, Christ is saying. He that believeth on me and is what? And is baptized. And is baptized, meaning and is taught the laws of God. Is what? Shall be saved. Shall be saved. Give me um, Revelation chapter 14 verse 12. So it was always about keeping the commandments in the faith of Christ. He that is a baptized, he that believes on me and is baptized shall be saved. He that believes on me and keepeth my laws shall be saved. Revelation 14 verse 12 now. The book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 12. Here is the patience of here's the patience of the saints. Mm -hmm. Here are they that keep the commandments. Here are they God. that keep the commandments, read. And the faith of Jesus. And the faith of Christ. Read. And I heard a voice from heaven. So those are all the people that are going to be saved, that are baptized, that are keeping the commandments and the faith of Christ. Baptism is not talking about water baptism in Christ's ministry. It the baptism does not save you. Let's get there. First Peter 3, verse 21. The baptism of water does not save you. But the baptism of Christ, which is the Holy Ghost, keeping the commandments and the faith of Christ, is which is going to save you. First Peter 3, verse 21. The book of First Peter, chapter 3, verse 21. Mm -hmm. The light figure, whereunto even baptism doth also now save us. Yeah, baptism, the light figure, now also baptism does save you. Read. Not the putting away of the filth Not of the, the flesh. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. What do you do? use to put away the filth of the flesh? Soap, water, it only cleans your flesh. It doesn't clean your sin. You cannot use water to what? Give you repentance. Water doesn't clean the filth in your mind. Water doesn't keep you from committing adultery. Water doesn't keep you from committing homosexual acts. Water doesn't keep you from killing your brother or hating your brother. But the laws of God does. Read. But the answer of a good conscience. The answer of a good conscience is what? The laws of God gives us a good conscience. Read. Toward God. Read. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Get me Jeremiah 2 verse 22. Because water baptism, it just cleans your flesh. You want to be baptized? Go take a shower. Go get soap if you want to be clean on the outside. But what cleanses you is the laws of God. What cleanses you internally is the laws of God. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 22. Mm -hmm. For though thou wash thee with nitre, though you wash thee with soap, and take thee much soap, uh -huh. yet thine iniquity is marked before me. Yes, yeah, you can put as much water on you, wash yourself, but your sin is still before you. Because it's always been about keeping the laws and the faith of Christ. Give me the last scripture, John 15 verse 3 now. The book of John chapter 15 verse 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now you are clean through the word which is the Lord's statute and commandments which Christ spoke unto you. So Israel... At the end of the day, whether you want to get baptized with water, that's on you. You're just taking a shower and washing the filth of the flesh. But baptism, water baptism, doesn't save you. But the keeping the commandments and the faith of Christ. And we pray that you was able to get understanding. And with that, we say shalom. Shalom. Israel. Most high Christ bless. Most high Christ bless.
say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.